Hey, YouTube, how's it going? YouTube here, welcome back to the channel. Now today I've got a battle for you um, playing as a Parthians. I'm trying to get good at playing with the Parthians. And I'm playing up against the Swaby. Now the Swaby can can be a good counter to um, Parthia, especially with these um, Germanic Scout Riders and the amount of um, decent spears that they get access to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Woden has spears. No, nine, including the general. And a whole bunch of these um, spear levy as well. So definitely got my work cut out for me. Um, he's also got a, uh, what has he got? I think it was um, the Archie unit, right? Uh, I can't remember. They've actually got some pretty decent um, missile damage. And um, I'm going to have to deal with them as well. So this, this map is probably not the best for playing as Parthia. Um, lots of woods. Definitely going to decrease my charge bonus if I ever get one. Now we'll see these mercenary Sarmatian horse archers peeling off to the left and the right. What I've done is um, separate my formation into two little um, two little sandwiches. And I've got my Noble Blood Cav, Camel Cataphract, Eastern Cataphract, uh, Persian Hoplites, Mercenary Hoplites, Persian Light Archers, Hillmen. So just kind of like useful tools out on each flank. Uh, Self-sufficient, kind of, they're all going to be situational and they're all going to be good at different things. So that's one flank. Um, I've also got pretty much the same thing over here, but I've got an extra, is it a mess? Yeah, an extra, extra mercenary hoplite over here. And a uh, noble horse archer um, general. So my opponent's going to go ahead and um, consolidate his units. He's left a couple of spear levy and, a, um, and an archer over there. And he's going to start moving his men through the valley here. So it's almost like a, um, my units are, are hidden at this point, just up here. But it's almost like a, um, what, what do you call it? Oh, here we go. Kimbri bow women. These guys are going to be um, pretty difficult to deal with. I'm going to have to make sure that I kill them off before they get enough shots. 150 range, 35 missile damage. Uh, fairly decent units overall. So they get some pretty nice volleys off of my Sarmatian uh, horse archers straight off the bat. I'm going to use um, <clears throat> the terrain to my advantage and move my shock cav up on top of the hill. And I'm going to get some nice shots downhill into his um, Germanic scout riders. Don't want to make... I don't really want to let these units uh, get too many of these kind of volleys on my Eastern Cataphracts. So what I'm going to do is use my um, Persian Hoplites to kind of chase them back, my cheapest spear units, just absorb fire and um, make sure that he can't really fire at me too much. <coughs> oh man, I'm getting a frog in my throat. Getting some nice rear shots into his Kimbi Bowen. And um, I got the rest of my units kind of transferring over here just because I noticed that the only units that are over here are these spear levies, so I'm not too worried about those units there. So we're going to get on top of this hill. He's going to peel around with his scout riders. He's definitely going to be um, threatening my eastern cataphract here, which is not good. I need to get this unit out of here ASAP. They're getting shot in the rear, which is definitely not good. Going to chase off his uh, Kimbri Bowman. Was um, hoping to get a, a cheeky kill there with my noble, noble blood cav. But my Persian Light Archer, son of a bitch, they're running down the hill and chasing after his uh, scout riders, so I'm going to have to pull them back. Got my hillmen up here, um, and I'm going to use these hillmen, actually, to, to chase after his dramatic scout riders. Just keep them in check. So I see this opportunity, this nice downhill um, charge into all these juicy light spear infantry targets. And I'm going to bring my um, heavy hitters up on top, of this, on top of this hill and get some nice downhill charges. So he is going to come in here and, and start threatening my um, hillman. Which is not a problem. But I'm getting this kind of thing happening now. My cattle ca camel cataphract, sorry. <laughs> getting some nice flank charges down the hill into all of these units. Going to get lots of kills. Nice stuff there. How many kills did they just get from that? 61. Over here we've got a noble blood cav getting a nice downhill charge into these uh, spear levy as well. They're not going to be able to hold out for that. Now, this is impassable terrain here which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to have to pull out of that. Uh, at a pretty weird angle. I'm going to pull out with my Camel Cataphracts and I'm just held him up with my Mercenary uh, Hoplites there. I've got another Eastern Cataphract coming in for another charge, so I'm just going to keep on doing this kind of round robin thing where I get, you know, here we go. Let's just capture this um, Eastern Cataphract charge. Really nice stuff. We're actually getting into the rear here as well. So he's actually blobbed together a lot of different units. He's pop pride, so they're going to have nice armor piercing. So that kind of, that's kind of like the cue for my um, Eastern Cataphracts to get the hell out of there. I don't know which direction I went out. I think I went up or out to the rear of my opponent. But anyway, my um, Noble Horse Archer getting some very nice shots in here. Just make sure that I can kind of get some shots into the blob of enemies that are here. 
My cannibal cataphracts get another charge in here, though it's kind of awkward like through the back of my own men. These eastern cataphracts are getting nice charges into these wooden ass spears over here. Um, it's a bit of a mess over on this side of the battlefield. I'm just going to try and hold out his, um, his scout riders. Just keep them away from my cataphracts. And it looks like I was actually able to catch one of them and get a couple of kills. Here come my noble horse archers, just hoping to finish off those Kimbri bow women and stop them firing at my men. And I'm going to get yet another rear charge into these, um, this big old blob of enemies. These are uh, Eastern Cataphracts up to a... Man, just skyrocketing. Look at those kills. Immense stuff. These mercenary hoplites coming into the back of this um, big old blob of units. And I've got heaps of units left. I've got Camel Cataphracts, an unused you know, Noble Blood Cab, that kind of thing. Got another Camel uh, Eastern Cataphract over here. So I am taking losses, but I'm pretty sure I'm inflicting like a lot more losses on my opponent here. These are um, Ordnance Spear units. They cost 850 talents each. They are good against um, enemy cav, only if you can use um, cavalry counter tactics and if you get into combat without taking a charge because they are still light spear infantry. They're going to take a lot of losses uh, on the charge, especially if I'm charging downhill like this. So these noble blood cav also getting a lot of kills as well. What he really should be doing with his scout riders is going after my general because he's all here by himself. Um, I didn't actually notice this until a little bit later and I'm going to have to pull him back very quickly to make sure he doesn't take too many losses. Again, getting another nice charge in here and, and kind of wrecking a couple of these units. These uh, mercenary hoplites were invaluable in this fight. Just getting some really nice uh, charges in here and destroying a whole bunch of very, very expensive units. Just holding them up while my <coughs> Eastern Cataphracts can do a number on the enemy. So my uh, Persian Light Archers are in a pretty nice position to get some good shots into the rear of these um, Wednesday Spears. And my cattle for cataphracts are just going to have a field day. They do have precursor jabs, these weren't our spears, but half the time they weren't actually able to use them. But yeah, just, oh man, these, these charges are absolutely beautiful. Really nice rear charges. And all the while, my um, Persian light archers are getting some very nice shots from the top of this hill into this little combat here. So camel cataphracts, how many kills? 157, not too bad. 85 with his eastern cataphract. 275 with that Eastern Cataphract. Pretty intense stuff. We managed to finish off this little blob of units over here. And killed off these Wadden Ass Spears here as well. We got one, two, three, four, five Dramatic Scout Riders. Um, all lined up, ready to take out that um, Persian Light Archer. Which is okay, I don't really mind. Um, that unit was probably a little bit too um, too far away from the, from the main battle to, to really have an effect. I'm going to bring my Persian Hoppertes down here to finish the job against these um, Warden Ass Spears. They didn't really get any charge, really. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose they got a pretty good charge. But yeah, my Hillman got a nice little um, volley there to finish them off. So at this point, my opponent has three Spear Levy. He's got one, two, three, four, five uh, Germanic Scout Riders. Um, I've still got a lot of Cataphracts left. Um, Eastern, Camel, uh, Eastern got a couple of noble blood cav as well one two i've got my noble horse archer full strength persian light archer <coughs> a hillman and mercenary hoplite and a persian hoplite still got a summation horse archer left here as well it's picking up a couple of kills against these scout riders so the most useful unit that i have on the battlefield right now is probably going to be these persian light archers just because they can hold these uh germanic scout riders back now what i'm going to do is put it on fast forward here because there was a little bit of shuffling. Um, and the battle kind of wears down for a little bit. It gets into a bit of a lull. Yeah. As you can see, it's a little bit of a cat and mouse kind of game. I was chasing around, seeing if I can, um, you know, get my, my opponent to, to kind of face me. I was kind of showing in my flank, just maybe hoping for an engagement somewhere. Um, but my opponent wasn't having um, wasn't having a bar of it. He's even running away with his uh, spear levy at this point. So, yeah, we'll just check it on fast forward for a moment. I can't really quit out. Well, maybe I can. Quit replay. But I want to see the kills at the end. I want to see the kills. So what I've got here is I've got my healman to hold off his scout riders. I've got my Persian light archers to get some nice shots in. But he's going to run away from this engagement. I have managed to um, engage his uh, spear levy over here. Uh, going to get some nice charges downhill with my Eastern Cataphracts into these units. 
This is probably not a good idea, but these units are medium spear infantry, so I'm going to get a lot of kills straight off the bat. These noble blood cav getting a nice uh, charge into, into this little fray here. Killing off a lot of these uh, spear levy. And we're going to finish them off before they can be um, assisted by these scout riders. So let's put into forward again. There we go, close victory. So the kills are pretty good, like 125 on the noble horse archer. I mean, that was mostly on um, these Kimby bone women and a couple of different units that were globbed up. 338 on the Eastern Cataphracts, so pretty much all my Cataphracts got a decent amount of kills. I really like these Camel Cataphracts, if just for their aesthetic. I really like uh, Camel units altogether, but they, I suppose they can be pretty good um, anti-cav units with their um, Camels that scare horses. Sarmatian Horse Archers probably didn't really need them, and the Noble Blood uh, Cav doing a really great number, but I'm pretty sure the MVP were these Mercenary Hoplites that just uh, did a great job at holding up my opponent's um, spears while my units did did a number into the rear into the rear of them um, my opponent's army the scout riders got a lot of kills they got a few kills i mean the warden has spears probably got a couple of kills on my on my cataphracts which is why they got these xp ranks 118 there that's pretty good not bad at all these guys have fre like fairly good charge bonus and a good um uh, precursor javelin as well so they can be quite useful in, in the right situation but anyway, thanks for the game. Let's um, see you guys next time. This is Jude Bear signing out. Peace.